And we are live. We are live. They didn't change the mad Johns on here. I see why this John was acting different. They didn't changed up some stuffington. You know what I'm saying? Let me know how that volume sounded when y'all get in the chat. Let me know how it's sounding, my geniuses. Let me know what it's doing. The chat could just be off to the side. For real. In a little box. So we could see hands. We got zero views right now. What's going on? Hey, listen. We talking about T.O. today. We just going to do a live breakdown. A Tia Fimo. I rarely watch Tia Fimo, but I know how he scrapped though. We doing a live A Tia Fimo. Listen, we hitting the Zell. So we can get that work. We're going to pin that to the top of the jaw. We're going to take the top to the top. Y'all in the jaw? I see you in the jaw. Mr. Incognito, I'm... In here early. Hey, listen. Since you in here, we got to get the party started. We can't be a party pooper. Let's get the party started. Let's get that party started. Let's 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 just let's get it going. We might as well just get it going. We turning it up. It's time to work, my brethren. Yeah. We're just going to keep it going. We got a coconut water here. It's going. Yeah, listen. Yeah. Hold on. Let me get it turned up in here for you. Don't trip. There we go. I'm the sickest that do this. He would just. Yes, sir. You going live at 545? I'm already live. All right. I was going to tell you because you're doing the T.O. live, right? Yeah. I'm just going to do a live when I'm, I'm about to um really take a look at him and see what's going on. I'm live right now, actually. Yeah, because I was going to tell you, if you're going to do a live on like you did with Bahaini, make sure you pick the right, you know, the, the right fights to analyze as far as, like, the... the no, I'm going to go through a couple different fights. Listen, yeah. it's about to be... T.O. is nice, so it's about to be a good... It's about to be a good one. Yeah. Fight. I'm gonna tell you what fights because I'm, I'm, you know, 
You also want to break down where he fucked up at with cutting the ring off. You can watch Sandor, or you can watch the Jermaine Ortiz fight. And the, the fight where he showed his offensive catch and shoot, where he was busting packs with when he fought Diego Magdaleno. He fucking gave that nigga extra garlic, extra sauce, all that shit. Those are the ones you got to see where, where it really breaks his shit down. Like, that was a massacre, bro. No, listen, bro. I, I don't even need to be showing a lot. Like, I don't show a lot of they fights show, but, you see it. You see it. You but i'll be showing i'm gonna show some and listen it's about to be hard because i like t i like all them fighters devin's was i liked how i broke down devin because loman chink it made me respect loman chinko nah because you, you, you I, I broke how you noticed that loma got inside work from watching that fight no yeah loma was really in there with, listen devin was having to move and squ i was like hey this is some high level snitch night it was. And That's what I'm saying. No, he he really like. See, that's what I needed to see. I needed to see you against one of these younger ne negro negros negras. You know what I'm Loma, saying? Loma, hold his own. Loma, Loma ain't listen, bro. I, him l losing to anybody at this point, the way it is, what? What? Keep using that word stop too easily. So go ahead and stop him, Loma. He'll, he'll beat him. He ain't stopping him. Come on, man, with that stop shit, man. Man, I think he might because he's a more accurate. I said he has the. He really could because he got more. That, listen, the reason why is because they both left handed. That's why. I, all right, if you're going to say that. I would say Tank then, because Tank is left-handed. with No, but I'm the reason why I'm saying Shakur is because he's he's accurate with his shots with another left-hander. Yeah, I still don't think I don't think Shakur can fuck this stop moment. I'm sorry, bro. I got. I am. I'm. 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 I'm, 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 I'm I got him beating him, but I don't got him stopping. The only one that I, I like the best, the best shot of stopping him will be Tank. I mean, of course, Tank is easy, but that's what I'm saying. I think skill for skill. Shakur could, cause he he's I, I feel well logically he's a solid puncher. He got good accurate defense. No, it's not. But it's just a hot hard tank beat. I see. Listen, if Loma was moving backwards against Tio, he's definitely gonna be moving backwards against Tank. Yeah. And th that's the thing. Like put it like this. I don't think. Loma could beat Ryan Garcia, bro. He just too big. You got a good point, because Ryan is big. He punches hard. Loma don't like power. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, think about what Loma... Like, Loma could give him some problems coming in, but once Ryan see that he kind of small and he can't really get... Bro, he just going to start punching on him hard. Like, Ryan and Devin is some good sizes. Like... And, bro, listen, I was watching Adrian Broner's last fight. Like, I don't know, like, he's bending his knees a little bit more and stuff like that. I know this. You know what I'm saying? I was watching some of his stuff. Like, even a fight, his last two fights, bro, the fight he fought on Showtime, man, that nigga was pretty sharp, bro. Hey, bro, this, this is what the live is about, bro. My lives are candid. If I, my nigga call and we talking boxing, that's a part of the live, my nigga. I'm sorry. This is this is exclusive with low nose boxing. Y'all better get be prepared. He could call at any time. Hey, 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 pause on that busting down, but do it. Hey, but yeah, man, we where it's time to turn it up, man. Low B don't be, listen. This is my life. Why do I got to get to my life? I'm already getting to it. See, sometimes though, when you're doing this, you be wanting to be so no. My John is just like you just pull up, you grab your smoke. You could be tuning in and out, and then you, every now and then you hitting the bars, and then you could just get the playback. But not, but when you get here, you got to hit the Zell, though. It's at the top. It's pinned. Let's turn it.
We was already oh oh oh. He told you what it's about. <laughs> he telling you. We going straight to the JPay. Straight to the JPay. Straight to the JPay. Yeah. Straight to the JPay. Hey, hey, hey. Then we gonna break down this boxing technically. Watch. How my niggas are the joint now, so I went ahead to lead the JPay. People when you put the shooters on, you lead a scene. Messy like the name that. Oh, you gonna get that tank? Listen, you're gonna get that tank film study. Don't, don't trip. <laughs> don't trip. Just get in the live and get ready to get. Oh. With the cis trunks. He's been balling from the line of scrimmage. What the business is, go good. We going, we running that J pay. Hit that Zell pay. Oh, my niggas is drinking right now. Yeah, 38. I'm a dog, bitch, one, at your baby. Niggas income. Same hoes on my dick, when I went to sis trunks. Pool ball. U haul. When a shoe on. Niggas think. What you drink? The soldier boy crank. He got it. You got to stay ahead of the game, bro. Crypto wallet. Get you. Nah, bro. Listen. Listen, bro. Listen. Listen. Listen, bro. You know, we get into some of these things sometimes. I'm already ahead of the game. You know why? Because I have a bond on file. It comes in silver and four nine fine. It comes in fiat paper, commercial paper. And it also comes in credit par value. Encrypted currency is credit. Card money. Bro, what are you talking about? There's nothing new here. <laughs> hey, bro, American Express was incorporated by Wells Fargo. They're not the same person. They're two different people. Wells, Mr. Wells, Mr. Fargo, and James Butterfield in 1850, bro. In 1850 is when California was a state. 1849 is land, soil, jurisdiction. If I'm not mistaken, it was 1850. That's what I'm saying, Mr. Incognito. Like, and, I, and Mr. Go Good is just who he is. He's going to good. And he, no, listen, bro. There's nothing different. Go Good. Because you can't do nothing with nothing without a social security number. So it doesn't matter what you say. Your social security number or some EIN or ITN is identifying what you're holding at all times. So no, it's not. Because to get that liquidated into anything, no, I'm not. I'm not wrong. And if you don't chill out, 
you're going to be on timeout. Because you don't have one of these. Okay? So you got to shut up. See, this is what I be talking about when niggas come in here and they think they know something that they don't know. Ain't wrong. You can't hold nothing without something that identifies who you are as any type of entity on this soil, my nigga. No matter where you at. So I'm wrong about that. This is where niggas be losing me, bro. So I'm wrong. I'm not. Exactly. I hear nothing. I don't even see anything. You're not typing anything. You see, y'all be believing. Believing. Bro, it don't matter. It's still tied to a server. Silly ass. See, this is when niggas keep going and I'm going to just keep putting you in a bag, bro. It's tied to a server. Listen, did you make the address yourself? Did you encrypt it? See, this is where you about to be in the bag. And you about to be hitting that zail. Did you make the address yourself? Did you encrypt it with your own encryptions? You fucking didn't. You did it, bro. Yes, I do know what a crypto wallet address is. It's something somebody made up for you to use. You don't own that. You didn't make it up. That's why you telling me about it. You see what I'm saying? Come on, bro. What are you talking about? You didn't make it up. You didn't encrypt it. You think you're telling me something new. You're not. You don't have your... You're, just because you're born here doesn't make you an American. I don't, you, I don't care about none of that. Because I'm bonded. You can't, my shit is already encrypted at the highest level and filed. You do anything that you're not supposed to do with any security of mine, you will be in United States District Court. Anybody. That goes for Martin O'Malley. Martin O'Malley. That's the Commissioner of Social Security. That goes for anybody. So what you're talking about, you need to fall back it. Because you're talking to the wrong entity, bro. That's what I keep trying to tell y'all. I'm not... We're, listen, bro. Look like Cam said. Look at me, bro. How old do you think I am? Somebody put how old do they think I am in the chat. <laughs> how what, Like you thought I was... No, bro. I was born around 8.30. In the morning. I'm not. I don't. F Listen, bro. If you can't handle this sauce, then you just ain't the channel for you. That's what I'm trying to. This is not a chat like that. That's why I keep. Listen, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all something. Was. When I talk about, listen, bro, when I get on this type of work, bro, if you don't know this, no, listen, go good. I, I, listen, you didn't even let me finish. This is what I'm saying. Let me sauce you up. Pause. I'm stating something so you can understand even better. The moment you bring something to me like that, I'm going to give you the real. The moment you start saying wrong, you're bug you're that's what I'm trying to tell you. You're bugging. I'm trying to give you the sauce. You didn't encrypt it. 
This is what you have a chance to encrypt. You encrypt this, then you encrypt your own dough. That's why I keep telling y'all. It's like I'm saying I'm bonded, and then I show it to you, and then y'all just don't. Y'all, it's like y'all can't see it. Let me sh let me do it again. Let me see if y'all can get it. Let me see if you can get it. It's You see this piece of paper right here? You see that? Hold on, let me sh let me show. You see Secretary of Treasury, International Monetary Fund, Mission Impossible. Dun 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 IMF. Department of De Hacienda, San Juan, Puerto Rico. Privately registered self back. I redacted my social security and birth certificate numbers. This is a real international bill of exchange. It's encrypted with social numbers. You see, I say privately, if you don't own this, you don't own no encryption that somebody told you to use. I'm trying to be helpful. That's what I'm trying to tell you. If you let me cook you, you will come out right. At the age of maturity. <laughs> These are the terms that they used. Listen, all you got to do is go back and see my lives. I wasn't talking about this before. I learned this in a month, bro. I'm trying to, but it, this, I had to wake up to this first. Listen, this is bagging weed. It's literally, it's called the tree of life. It's literally called the tree of life. Literally. Literally. The Pau Neturu. The tree of life. You're literally, what are weeds? Plants. You bag this first. And then you put your own things in a bag. You encrypt yourself. Are you, bro. If somebody giving you something, then they you that stay shit. Once you encrypt yourself, no, sir. I come from a a specific zot. You know what? All right, hold on. I keep telling y'all, y'all gotta stop. I'm trying to help you, sir. I'm just trying to help you. So that you gotta be able to take the sauciante though. You got to be able to deal with the sauciante. It's not your everyday sauce. Oh, guess what this is. Let me take that right there. Let me put this down here. Look, my genius. It's very simple. See that? That's called an affidavit. Paramount claim of life and estate of Troy DeMond King born. Leon Toch Walters, Judy Ann King, the United States of America. Whereas I, the living man known as, and then it just get into the things that you would need to know so you can be encrypted. It's been registered. You see this? Registered. Certified. Mail. It's been sent. Proof. I ain't, yeah, I'm not wasting no breaths. <laughs> Listen, bro, I'm not wasting no spirit. Breath is spirit. This been filed. You see this? Janet Yellen, my good sister. One of the first women to be in the United States doing what she doing. Francisco Alicea, my good man, Secretary of Treasury, Secretary of State of California, because that's where I'm living. Listen, bro, you got to have paperwork. It's certain paperwork and thing you need to have on file, bro. You talking about 
cryptocurrency, you didn't even encrypt yourself. You got to encrypt yourself first. You can't just be hopping out here, you see. That's what I'll be saying, man. I'll be really trying to help y'all. I got real paperwork filed. Like, I, I don't play with no laws. Once I see it's written down and it's been notarized and they acting by it and it's not to be broken like a constitution. No, bro. Like, I ain't about to play with that, my G. Y'all can play with it. Once I see, once I start looking up laws and see it's court involved, court records. Oh, no, I'm no, 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 no. Y'all got the wrong guy. That means there's some fact somewhere. Somebody was doing something they had no business to be doing, and it's a fact of something. And it got to do with bread. It got to do with somebody stopping somebody, harassing them, stopping their movements, stopping them from getting money. Because the only rules that's written down is about getting money. Any other rule is common. No common laws are written down. You know you're not supposed to be taking shit that don't belong to you. You know you're not supposed to be damaging anybody's property that doesn't belong to you. You know you're not supposed to be uh, hearting yourself and others. Those are common laws. Like, those are not even to be discussed. Those are regular laws. Those are laws of the world. Like, you know you're not supposed to be doing none of that stuff. So the moment you get on it, you, you break in commerce. You break in laws. You're going to damage somebody. No, you break in laws. Uh, you break in uh, common law. You break in God law. And ignorance of law is no excuse. Believe me, I'll be in the courts. I really do my Martin Luther out here. You see, and that's what y'all don't get. Martin Luther was a United States attorney. He went to Cornell. He really knew the United States. Like, and that's why he was trying to, that's why he was saying some of the things he was saying, but not understanding how to get them done. Like, I'm sorry, I gotta be honest with y'all. If I wouldn't, I wouldn't be in the situation I am. I love Martin Luther King and Malcolm, but they didn't know how to get things done, bro. You do them privately. You don't do them in the public, bro. You get your group of niggas together privately. You have the right to assemble. You get them together privately and you seek your grievances privately like Black Lives Matter. Fucking like they got donations and they seek their remedies privately. You don't know what they did. Bro, I don't care nothing about crypto, bro. I, it don't matter if it, everything turned to crypto, I'm going to still have the most money because I got a bond on file. Don't matter what. They start backing the money and doing crypto just mean encrypted electric cash, bro. You think it means something different. They've been using credit. Crypto is just credit, bro. The moment you start buying stuff with it, they're going to be taxing it. Just like they tax everything else, bro. You, it's just another form of a taxation. <laughs> You, you didn't upset me, bro. I'm not upset. <laughs> That's what you don't get. You, you think you upset something, bro. You, you, bro, you got to chill out, bro. You don't. There's nothing to be upset about. It's just that you're lost. Crypto is just credit, bro. It's not real money. Y'all don't. The definition of money is gold, silver, oil. It has to be an actual tangible thing, not paper, okay? What you're talking about is currency. See? Go ahead and hop in that Birkin for me. Damn, son, where'd you find this? I ain't even mean to press that. That's how, that's how the bodies work. That's how the bodies work. Double kill. And I, I ain't say you got to be lost. But you lost right now. Talking about crypto is the new wave. It can't be a new wave. It's nothing new under the sun. It's just electrical money in the computer. On a card. any It's all the same, bro. 
It's all the same. You saying no, but it's the same. Why ain't ain't did it the same? What make it so different? Did you make it? Did you make it different? That you haven't answered that question. Or did you encrypt your own bread? Go good. Did you do it? Is it your own encryptions? It's not. Correct. It's not your own encryptions, bro. You're using something somebody gave you. Your account goes up and do what? Okay. Is it gold? Do you got gold in your hand? Gold. Like tangible gold. That's all I care about. Do you got gold, bro? You don't have gold. I don't. Gold always going to appreciate the same value. And it never changes. So I, I don't. It don't matter. If it's not gold, I don't care nothing about crypto. I don't. No, it's not. That's how I know you don't know what you're talking about. You need a timeout. You need a timeout, bro. You drunk now. Listen, this is what y'all got to understand. Backing yourself with natural resources, like fucking skills, knowing how to step with your punches. See how I go straight into the boxing. Knowing how to step with your punches. Move your head. Fight coming forward. It's time to get into this T.O. work. Because dude don't know what he talking about about money. He has no idea how money is made and where it comes from. He's talking about crypto's the new wave. Anything that you wave it with somebody else, they gave you the wave. We, <clears throat> we make our own waves over here, buddy. And that's where niggas be lost with me. They don't know how to make their own waves. So you got to get a five minute time out. Because over here, we create our own wave. You get that? You create your own wave in the chat. The moment you talk about crypto is the new wave, that means you going with everybody else. And it's, it's, dude, it's nothing new under the sun and you didn't even invent it. So you got to chill, bro. You got to. You got to know what you're talking about when it comes to money. It's not a good look if you don't. Listen, we're going to show you what T.O. be doing in this ring and what he don't be doing. Because we already know what he be doing. And we're going somewhere to the latest fights. We're going to go. I'm not about to be all day with all these fights. Like. <clears throat> Did you know TurboTax? Because it don't. And listen, it don't take all that. Once I look at some little highlights. I'm going to tell you where you was messing up at. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. My geniuses. Hold on, dog. This YouTube acting stupid. YouTube acting stupid. We about to pull up a, a T.O. scrap. We're going to pull up a T.O. scrap and just go over some. Listen, see, this is the thing. Dave think in his, I, I don't, I, 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 I will, in my mind, I can, you know, put together with what, what he, put together what he's thinking by the words he's using. It's called common sense. Um, remember, Ness said it, you must have a God eye. You can look at the highlights. The highlights. I think Tio gets too in love with his power and will let inferior fighters stay in matches. It's not it. 
month. Not it. Listen, we going. Listen, we don't look at the fights and all of that. We go to the highlights. The highlights give you what you need. Where that MMA John at of them highlight? Where dude got the what's dude's name? MMA TV or whatever. He be showing all the highlights. Well, here go some extended highlights. We gonna turn on some highlights. We got Combat Cat. Tia Fimo Lopez. It's not my video, but we gonna get into it. And my channel, I don't think is on for getting paid anyway, so they ain't gonna be flagging. This is Jermaine Ortiz fight. The highlights. <laughs> We're getting straight to the action. All right, straight to the action. Off rip. Off rip, it ain't got even nothing to do with T.O. not knowing how to fight coming forward. He ain't even used the jab. Like, that's this the first round. <laughs> like, and that shows you how athletic Cuz is. He's moving super fast. He needs to slow down. Like these are short, these are small things that you need, bro. I don't have to get into big film studies to break down a fighter and make him look crazy. It's not about that. No, that's not it. You just all right, listen. Mr. Incognito, what does that mean? He doesn't box when he needs to. He's boxing. So what does that mean? What does that mean? See, you, people be saying things, but you just made a statement of something, but it had no actual articulation with it. And I'm not saying that in a condescending to try to put you down or nothing. I'm saying it like he doesn't box when he needs to. No, he doesn't come out and establish the jab. Okay. He didn't come out and establish the jab. When Devin Haney come out, he establishes the jab. When Tia Fimo came out, he didn't establish the jab. You see what I'm saying, Incognito? That's how you kind of... I know what you're saying, but it's the way that you articulate it with detail. Aaron Robinson was good. Lopez can't punch going forward. Is this his daddy training or bad fundamentals? It's slightly both. Because if you're not working on perfect fundamentals by using the reciprocation of the fundamentals to boxing, meaning if you know it's fundamental, if you're, getting, if you're not getting your ass beat doing this, then we know we're on to something right. Okay? Secondly... Once you add it up to the totality of boxing, how everybody execute things, you know it's the fundamentals. Okay? That's the truth about that. And that's the ma'at truth. It's the reciprocation. When they boxing shows you that. It shows you a reciprocation of things. It, look, this is this simple. Watch. Boxing is a reciprocation of energies. Watch. They're going to come out and they're going to exchange some energies. But Tia Fimo is not you. He used one jab. Now he's trying to automatically come in and touch him to the body and, and land right hands. That Listen, you ain't got a show all day with that. That's letting. Listen, hold on. Look what the time is. So you got. I'm not tripping. That's the time. Shout out to ESPN. That's the time. It's, it hasn't even been 45 seconds into the fight, and he hasn't even fought to establish his jab. Listen, bro, you can't be doing that. 
You just that's that's a no no. Listen, that, and that's what I'm saying. We don't have to be all day breaking that down. I mean, breaking him down about what he do. Why in turn did he come out there and not do that? Why? He can't be working on the jab on no mitts. Because the mitts train you. Listen, the mitts train you because somebody else is making you do it. And then your memory just get the... That's why I be showing you when I be doing mitts for my little young cats. Like, they, they're they trained to do it a certain way. Until it's stuck in their brains. It, it's stuck. Because it's about fundamentals. It's just a fundamental way to do it. It has nothing to do with me. It's just a fundamental way to execute it, dog. It has nothing to do with me and but I'll show you. Look. Fundamental way to do it. See how the elbow up? It's certain things that when you doing on the mitts is gonna thank you. Hey, listen, hit the Zell if you feel like the cook is getting is cooking. Hit the Zell. It's in the chat. The Zell is good because it's about you encrypting currency through a brokerage firm. Brokerage or for brokerage transactions. That's literally crypto. The thing with Tio, these things are so minute, it don't matter who I show. I don't like it. If you're not doing this, I don't care what you do good, actually. We ought to know what you do good. Why are you this far away from the man as the shorter fighter? I don't know. These are the things that need to be worked on. And this is the thing I get. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, there we go. I'm going to show you all something that he was doing. I'm going to show you what he was doing. But I'm going to show you what it made it six. Right here in this pick. They're both fencing with the jab hand. You see that? Like if you're looking at this portion of the fight. Let me see what time it is. It's still in the first round with 33 seconds left. They start like pawing and tying up each other's jab hand. Because dude is um, left-handed and T.O. right-handed. But this is what a, a part of establishing the jab off rip. You, hey, Aaron Robinson, say it again. You lucky. Say it again. He not sticking and flicking. But this, when you fighting a righty or a lefty and you a righty, you got to be pawing and flicking and sticking. It's different rules because, pause, because it's a left hand and you got to be tying up that jab hand. So you kind of hooking different. You f coming up. Are you trying different things because you want him to be thinking about that? It's the first round that those things need to be established first fundamentally. We ain't even got to break down this all day. We could break down a whole live about all the problems T.O. been having for not doing that. Hold on. Listen, let's go to a fight where he was busting packs. Cuz said. All right, let's go to the Lomachenko highlights. Let's see what he was doing. We're going to start off off the rips. We're going to see what was going on. Because you know Loma, Loma gets respect out here now. I, I'm sorry. Like Loma, listen, you be doing some stuff in there. <laughs> 
I appreciate him. Oh, this is Devin Haney and Loma Blood. I'm trying to find T.O. Somebody doing this, some stupid shit on here, bro. It literally says Tia, Tia Fima and Lomachenko, bro. Why is it? All right, look, look. I'm going to show you something. Hold on. Let me see if I can find another one. Because that way it could be, um, yeah, Loma was uncomfortable in that joint with T.O. He ain't that power, bro. He ain't, but no, actually he, he did. <laughs> See, Loma tricky, bro. Loma is tricky. Hold on, I'm gonna show you. Cause Loma, that means Loma is really intelligently skilled for the fact that he knows what to do. Watch. Watch Loma. Look, Tia Fimo didn't set up the jab here. He didn't set up the jab. Hold on, the light on it. He didn't set up the jab, dog. See, that's why he got hit with a double. It, listen, that's the second round that happened. He got hit with a double left hand there is because he not setting up the jab in the sense that Lomachenko was setting it up. And it's the same thing he was trying to do against Ortiz. See how Loma, Loma be tying up, but Loma... This the thing, and that one, Loma wasn't tying up the jab because he would rather keep his hands at home with T.O. Because he know T.O., but see, he using the jab more than T.O. T.O., that's the T.O. using the jab right there. See, look. See how T.O. using the jab? Now it makes it more. When, that little double jab right there that he used showed you how important the jab is. Look. Watch how I use the double jab. and he almost Look. He landed exactly what he wanted just by pawing it. And showing it. And now he not using it. That See, that's why he not... You, bro, it don't matter what fight I show you. That coaches who get... Kids who get trained by their daddies, for some reason, they don't think the jab is important. I, I don't know why. Hold on. We'll, we'll, we'll look at this one. When he knocks somebody out crazy. So you think I care about these knockouts? No. It could be done even sweeter. Look. Because cause listen. Y'all focus on this. Hold on. And this is why he missed his shot. See like look. He missed this because he didn't set it up with the jab. He still, look, there he go. He trying to, but he not using the jab. Look, he don't know how to use the jab. This is simple. He could be using the jab right here. He bumped him with the shoulder. Look, when he get distance, he can't keep dude out of his face because he don't have a jab. Look, he still ain't using it. It don't matter what fight I show you. Yeah, I don't care nothing, but you're not doing that. That ain't, that's not doing anything. I'm sorry. Where the jab at? I still don't see it. He still ain't used it. There go, look, look how important the jab. Look, as soon as he start using the jab, he landed a check hook off of it. Look, he missed those. He didn't use the jab. He's just walking in without punching. Look, he caught a jab. But since he not using his jab, he not got a sharp jab too, bro. Look, he don't know what to do in there. That, that look, that that when you doing all of this, you don't know what to do. Look, dude ain't listen, bro. This be my point. Look, I'm gonna show you what my point is. 
Look at dude's face. Look at dude's face, dog. Look at dude's face. He should have been a jab. His face like that without a jab. Tio, if you watching this, come see me, bro. Go see Prentice Brewer or somebody like that. Bro, you need to get a jab, bro. You're not jabbing. You're doing a whole bunch of unnecessary nothing. Every fight I watch it, you doing it. We can't even get past that. I don't care nothing about that. I don't care nothing about nothing. If you come out and you not establishing a jab, we can't even get past what you do good because shit ain't good. Nothing's good. Nothing's good, blood. If you're not using a jab in boxing, nothing's good. Any type of flicking it, pawn it, even like Roy used to be using it like that. To be, why you think he was able? Why do you think Roy was able to land a check hook and lead? Because he was always measuring you with the jab, dog, and flicking that John out there, young, young, young. Like what? Like, you not using no jab. Where I got to get the jab out of T.O. Look, all oh, that's too much. Look, you don't know what to do. No, blood. Look, that was a jab. Look, look, as soon as he threw a jab, dude didn't know what to do. Look, that's how easy that is. Watch, as soon as he throw his jab, dude freeze. Watch. Dude froze. Dude froze for a second. Because now he using a jab. Now look. Dude dude, backing out. He using check. He not landing nothing clean as it would land if he would put the jab in front of it. He, he wasting punches. Like he could have really knocked him out brutally. All he had to do was be like. Bang. Bang. Bang, boom, set up one hard right hand, bro. Like, no, nah, bro, I don't be feeling that. Like, that's what I be saying, bro. Like, it don't matter what fight I watch. You're not doing what I want. You're not doing what the greats was doing, bro. Let's go to, hold on. Let's go to Josh Taylor. Let's see what he was doing with Josh Taylor. Let's see what he was doing with Josh Taylor. The jab is definitely the foundation. Tyrone Legacy said, looks like he only jabs when he can't think of nothing else. Got to be the opposite way around. Facts. The jab is what you do when you don't know what to do. <laughs> you like, man, let me just put the jab on him. Once you start doing that, everything else will come. Pause. And it's just simple. Let's see what he doing. Now he jabbing. You know why? But no, he not though. Because Josh Taylor tying up his jab hand. And T.O. so fast. He just, T.O. kind of do remind you of Roy Jones, my G. He crazy athletic. You see that movie? That was athleticism. But Josh Taylor is using the jab. See, that's why T.O. can't hardly land nothing. If Josh Taylor fight going backwards, look, this is where Josh Taylor's mistake is. He should just box off the back foot. See, that's where you don't want to be. T.O. good right there. T.O. going to work if you put the pressure on him. See how he countered? See, Josh, see those things? He not using no jab. 
This is why people look. He still don't. He he don't even know how to jab going backwards. Look, he don't know how to jab coming for you. Ain't cutting him off. He, man, this is what this shit I'm be saying, man. Y'all excuse my language. Like he, I, look, he that was rushing in, bro. Like I don't care if you won. It's how you looking because when you get in there with a technician, they're gonna bust your pack, bro. You're just running in now. You're throwing point shots out of desperation. Come on, T.O. Blood. And this was really on Josh Taylor fighting the wrong fight, if you be, if I be honest. See, look, he just hopping around. He said you were supposed to jab right from there. See, man, oh, my gosh. Look, watch this. Watch how he defend right here. Good D, jab, jab. Look, he was supposed to jab out of that. Watch this, Floyd. Boom, boom, jab, jab. He could have just stuck him with two quick jabs. He, he, right, look, he was, he was trying to do it. Oh, no, you rushed in. Look, watch this. Watch this little sequence. Jab. Look, why would you try to throw a three-piece when you haven't even found the range on a jab? Why would you try to throw a three-piece if you haven't found the range on the jab? Bro, he too athletic. He Listen, Ben, boxing is skill-based. I keep telling you all that. I'm showing you. And these are what do say some of his best fights. I ain't got to show all of that. No, he doesn't have a low IQ. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. Tio knows he has a high IQ. IQ comes with practice, physical practice. If your IQ higher than your trainers, how are you going to... Come on, man. What am I talking about? <laughs> if you never did the shit... You don't have an IQ as a trainer. <laughs> like, bro, you got to be tripping, bro. Come on, Lon. Like, what is we... Somebody tell me. Somebody hit my Zell, man. Y'all got to tell me y'all know what I'm saying. Y'all got to say something. No, it's not low IQ. He knows he's supposed to be jabbing right there. If he watches fight, and I'll be like, why didn't you? He'd be like, damn, I was right there. It's like when they say Adrian Broner don't let his hands go. He's not in position, and he hasn't trained to let that go. It's very technical. He knows he's supposed to do it. No, his athleticism doesn't throw off his footwork. What throws off his damn footwork is not knowing how to jab and have fundamentals off the jab. Jab slip. And this is the thing. You're not even supposed to be jabbing with a left-hander. You tying up the jab hand. So now Josh Taylor, you forcing him to throw the left. You catch it like T.O. be doing and you answer with a double left. Because you're tying up his jab hand. You're using the jab. You don't... Listen, bro. This is what I keep trying to tell y'all. I don't have to get into... I, I watch your fucking highlights, bro. Excuse my language. Why do y'all... This is regular fundamental boxing, bro. This has nothing to do with all this stuff that y'all talking about. No, ain't no use. Hand, yes, hand control. Yes. Yes, absolutely, sir. The jab is everything. 
The jab is a defender. It's not the main defender. Your head movement and actual D. A jab is an offensive tool. So it's not. You can use it for defense, but it's a secondary defensive tool. The first line of defense is head movement. Period. It don't matter what, because head movement keep you from getting hit at all. Next is catching punches. No, next is feet. Head movement, then feet. Then catching punches. Like, it's several lines of defense. He not using his jab in any type of way. This making his athleticism. Listen, Floyd was just as athletic, bro. Tia Fimo is athletic and all of that. But it looks like nothing when I watch it. It looks like puzzle pieces in a box just doing stuff. You haven't established the jab in none of the fights. We watched several of them. I can't even get past the first rounds because you're not using your stick. Like, hold on. What round is this? I'm about to see what round this is, and I'm going to show you. It's still early. I already know it is. But watch. Watch what I'm saying. Hold on. They ain't showing the round. They got it blocked out. They got a thing over so they can show it. Look, watch this. Look where they the round just started. Look where they look where they standing at. Look at the distance. Watch this. I'm gonna hit play. Look who using a jab. Dude ain't you he don't know how to tie up the jab hand. Look, his hand is down. When you fighting a see, that's why Josh Taylor was on his back. It's just that you can't come at T.O. reckless because he got explosive power. Look, Josh tried to fool him. He tried to touch gloves, then jab him. He really trying to school the young buck. Josh Taylor got some skills. See, look at T.O. This is why he's in the situation he's in. If Josh Taylor would have fought off the back foot, it would have been a curtain. It would have been a bag. See, that's what I'm saying, man. I don't know who be. That's why I was like, what would Josh Taylor choose to fight that fight? Like, I don't get it. But T.O. is great athletically. He got power. But he doesn't even know how to establish the jab. You got to establish a jab when you coming out boxing, bro. Five, six, five, six. It says T.O. needs a real coach. Did his dad box? Evidently, no. Troy, you got you got the screen share, man. You absolutely right, bro. But I'm using the OBS. Hold on, let me see if they got a screen share on here. I don't think they got a screen share on the OBS. I'm a I'm gonna get into that screen share though, and then I'm a have it up on here. You right. You right. 56, 56. You right. I got to get the screen share. I'm going to get that going. Don't even trip. Larry Holmes be smacking him right. Listen, bro. T.O., this is what I be saying, bro, when we don't. We if we if Tio had a jab, bro, we would it would be curtains for some of these folks. You see how fast he is? Like, it literally, he, fa listen, bro, the only person I know that was, is like Hector Camacho was moving like that, but T.O. is faster, bro. Like, Hector Camacho, though, he had foot. You know what? I'm going to show you the difference. I'm going to show you right now. Watch, I'm going to show you. I'm definitely going to show you, my G. 
I'm going to show you the difference in the Hector Camacho. You know who sent me this? My man, Lo. Lo sent me this. Lo definitely sent me this. I don't want to think it's in my IG. Listen, the thing crazy, the thing so crazy is when you when you when I show it to you, you're gonna be like, sheesh. Hold on, my man Nords from the U who who helped build the URL. We doing the live later with my man Nords. We on the John with him right now. Street Star Norbs. That not on no corny shit, but he, we doing a live later. He want to do it at 10 p.m. That's 7 p.m. my time. Hold on one second. Yeah, we're going to do a live later. Uh, I'll look at my man Marco later. Hold on, let me find my man Low. Me and my man Low was talking about... Hold on. My man Low sent me some work one time. Hold on. I'm going to show you. When I show you, you're going to be like, sheesh. And he had sent it to my phone, though. Um, It was a Hector Camacho fight. I'm about to show it to y'all, though. I'm about to show you this Hector Camacho fight. And I'm going to show you what T.O. need to be doing. Period. I don't care who he is. And who we fighting? Hector Camacho versus where we go? Look. Look at this. Look at this jab, dog. Look. Look how easy this is. Look how he's sticking. Circles. He going in circles. Look, that look like T.O., don't it? I know what I'm talking about. That look like T.O., speed and everything. But you know what's different? That jab. That footwork. That not wasted. Look, speed. Speed. Woo! L listen, bro. This is Hector Camacho, bro. On, listen, you see that triple faint into the jab, my G? This is all night. All night. Look, no wasted movement. Look, hit a one, two. He already know the range of him because he using the jab. He ain't even got to land it. Look, sticking him. Look, 
You got to know how to use the jab, dog. You got to know how to use the jab, my G. It's important, dog. Like, it's very simple. You, it doesn't take a lot. You see, I was just showing you. T.O. got all that athleticism, but you're not using the jab. When you do that, you make shit hard. Like, hold on. We're going to look at another fight of somebody who reminds me of T.O. We did a film study on Devin already, second Ezra. We did a film study on, on Cuz. Never Navarrete. Ooh. Hold on. You want to see some old school work, buddy? Look. See that? That's what T.O. need to be doing. T.O. need to be watching um Hector Camacho, bro. He need to be watching Hector Camacho. Hold on, hold on. Listen to what he's saying he gonna do, bro. Look, listen to what he's saying. He's not lying. Look, we're just going to see. Look, we're going to come out and just show you the difference in skill. Look, they both four, five, four and a half. Oh, hold on. That's game. Do I need to hear that? Listen to this. Soaking wet. Bro, look, y'all, that's old school shit. Look how he come out already hot, ready to go. Look what he doing. This is left versus right hander. Dude, we was just watching. I didn't even know. I didn't do this on purpose. Look, watch how he see. I keep putting the jab on, du on dude. Giving him movement. Even if he going backwards, he using the jab, bro. Look, he keeping it out there. Look, if you don't know what to do, he head movement, faint, use the jab. Sticking and flicking. Woo! That's real boxing, buddy. Did you see that? Watch this. See? Because he used the jab. This the first round. Now, do you see the difference? Do you see the difference, bro? Do you see it? That's different boxing. Off rip. That's different. Because he came out the first round against a left-hander and established the jab. Still, we was just watching another... Um, Tia Fimo fight to fight a, uh, another hand fighter doing some of the same things, but he didn't he didn't use he didn't set up the jab first. So that's why I'm like, it don't matter who I watch, 
you're going to still get, you got to set up the jab. It, and this is the thing, even though he still be winning, he will have brutal knockouts in all them fights. Because he too quick. People wouldn't be able to see him. And this is the thing. He could just get it off with the jab first. Young. 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 Listen, they'd be like, oh my goodness. I don't want to be bothered with this dude. They'd be ready to quit before the match even really get to get warmed up. Because they know they can't get with him. But when somebody doing all of this, it looks like you don't know what to do. Like, you, all you got to do is Camacho wasn't doing all of that. He could, as you can see. And he did it when it was necessary. But when he was slipping, you see he was right here. Yang Yang, one, two, down the pipe. Calm down, buddy. First round, you doing too much. We boxing. Tia Fimo be causing herself to get into... um. Look, those slight war skirmishes, even though when you come at him, he can catch and counter quick because that's what they be working on on the mitts in that short range. But when you get in there with the elites, T.O., you're going to have to be able to use a jab first and foremost. Before we didn't even get to the other things because every fight that I turned on, I imbi you not jabbing. I don't even we we can't break you down if you not jabbing off the ready rip. We we I'm not even gonna be doing hey listen. That Zell is at the top. You gotta hit the Zell. I'm sorry. Because that's how technical this channel is. The a jab the jab must be established off rip. Right, Legacy. Like, the jab must be established off rip. It don't matter what you say, how you say it, what you want to say, how you want to say it. If you don't establish the jab off rip, you're causing yourself a detriment in boxing because everything after that is going to be a struggle. Fighting coming forward. Catching and countering. Even though he got explosive, good, fundamental, young, young, he not landing them. He, the fight would be over right there if he had his jab because he didn't know what range he was in. Like Tyrone Legacy said, 777. He, it, 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 just think about what we just watched. If he had his range together from the jab off rip, the moment he throws a counter, it would land and people would be going to sleep because he got snappy power. They'll be hurt. And that right there goes to show you like why a fighter wouldn't have all knockouts on his record or he have TKOs. Now you see, this is the thing. He's so athletic right now that the ref, we went over what a TKO is. That's when the ref doesn't deem it safe for you. So the ref doesn't deem it safe. But he will have knockouts, meaning people wouldn't make the 10 count because he will have a jab together so that he can land the punches in the range that they need to be landed in and he can maximize his full potential explosive power and counter punching ability by learning his, what range he needs to be in to do that. And doing that is set, it's setting up and establishing the jab. Okay, let let me let me repeat that one more time. Yeah, you can believe in a range, or you can know it. When you know, knowing is suerte, siete de boxeo. I know I'm a divine jabber. I'm going to jab your head off. I'm going to use the jab. I'm going to tie up the jab hand. I'm going to be hooking off of it. And we do, I'm going to be doing all of that. 
But what I'm not going to be doing is not using it. Now, once again, Tio will know how to fight coming forward completely in all its entirety by just working with me so that he can know how to jab and slip jabs coming forward fundamentally using his footwork. So then in turn, he could be in range so that the range that he's in, he could potentially land the most and the maximum amount, the maximum amount of power for his attributes, which is explosive when he in his range. If he's using the jab properly, whether it being tying up the jab hand, flicking it to the stomach to find a range, touching the glove with the jab until you get in the range. So when you know I'm already touching his glove, if he in the distance between Listen, Josh Taylor was like this, trying to throw T.O. off. So if T.O. touching the glove, he know between the dis between this glove and this hand, if he break that, that range and get this much closer in boxing, I know I can hit him. Even though his hand out like this. As soon as he start doing this, and I'm already touching it, I'm going to just throw the left hand. He's going to run into it. He's breaking his own range reckless. If he don't move his head and slip, the, slip my right and try to come back with the left, then I got to come back with the hook. He not doing that because he don't know his range with the left with the uh, lead hand off rip. So then when he's countering or trying to counter, as we've seen, he's missing vital counters that will usually knock somebody out. And he's not setting up an easy straight right hand by using a jab. And it all is set up off the jab. First learning how to slip and catch a jab. And then learning how to execute a jab. When you do that, you will know how to fight coming forward. This is one of the reasons why I don't even have to get on him fight coming forward. Because you don't come forward without the jab. You asked. You asked for it. If you build it, they'll come. Pause. And <clears throat> that's the end of this live because that's the end and the beginning of his troubles because executing and landing a jab also mean when he if he's the shorter fighter even if he not it still puts you in range to get hit by something so after you learn how to land a jab you have to learn fundamental defense so that you don't get hit with anyone countering a jab period it'll knock out several birds with one stone T.O., listen, come holler at me. We need to get your jab together. It ain't going to cost you that much. It's going to cost you. Cost you 100000 a year. That's simple. That's not it. That's still under poverty level in California because it's 150 and under. 100000 is it. Because once you see the work, you're going to be glued. You're going to be like, no, I do look better and I get it. I know how to use my jab to set up all of these other punches. And I'm making good defensive moves to get inside. Like I'm slip, slip, young, young jabbing and slipping while I'm coming in. That's when you got to be watching how to move your head and take your time and use the jab. Once you keep jabbing the man's glove because he's holding it out like that, he's going to try to come in and counter. Once he do that, you really, all you got to do as the shorter man, he's bringing the work to you to be signed, certified, and registered. 
All you have to do is drop your knees and answer to the body and work your way up and finish with the triple jab and step with your punches. I need to holler at you because I know you're not doing that. When they come in, you drop down. Uh Uh-uh. That's the first line of defense. Depth and head movement because your head was at a regular boxing height and then you drop down lower. That means your head went from here to here. That means you bent your knees. Three dimensions is depth. It's a boxing, not squaring. Once you do that, the he came to you and broke his range of jab like that, and now he in, you start out with the body, under, under, and then you just work your way up and step. If he get out of there or turn, I showed you on the video, you turn with him while you punching. And then... Once he's done, you go right back to the jab, down the pipe. He's not doing any of that because he's not working it on no mitts. They think they're doing Floyd mitts. They're not. Floyd worked a double, triple, and single jab, and he throws. When he was fighting, he said he used to throw like 200 jabs, 2,000 jabs a day, something like that. And then they show him hitting the bag with Joshua. That takes a different discipline. All right, it just does. And if you're not willing to do that, come see me. I guarantee you, you'll be willing to do it. You're going to be looking so sharp. We're going to have on them bad gloves. You're going to understand defense. When people be coming, you're going to be, ah, nope. Ah, ah, nope. Young, 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 back up. I'm too, way too fast for that. The jab, your jab to the body going to be so fast and abrupt. And abrupt, soon as you jab, boom, then you're going to come over the top. Bang, and they're going to go to sleep. And then if they if they, you don't put them to sleep with the right hand, when you bring the hook back, we know what your hook worth. You got the power, the skills, and you got the power, the talent, and the athleticism. You don't have the skill set of jabbing, the main skill set of boxing. You don't even use the jab. So it don't matter what he do. If you learn how to use a jab, that means you're going to have to learn how to slip a jab. Catch a jab. From there, you start working on defense of all punches. You don't just be moving your head, walking forward, square. You don't have to do that. You could just skip forward, pawing the jab, trying to land a straight right. He didn't do that. Soulmates. Salute. Like, he didn't do that. We almost at the end of the jaw. Because we got to go again in a couple hours. Listen, we going we going live with... um. We going live so I can with, with Street Star Nords so we can um, put it in the chat. I'm gonna tell him to send me something. Hold on. We taping this from my nigga Nords real quick. Yeah, Nords, we got the chat in here. If you send me the John, I can um put it in the chat. If you send me a link or something, whether it's the IG or whatever, and my peoples can tune in so we can work. But yeah. Like, we could really, like, you really got to know that a jab is is really important. We've been talking about that. We was talking about that earlier today when I was showing y'all how to jab, uh, keep people at bay and just keep them, you know, it's simple work. It makes things a lot easier. And it's not the fact that he not just coming forward punching. Fighting going forward means you know how to put a jab on somebody's head. Boxing mat. This is what I be trying to tell folks. And when, listen, the mitt work acquires that. The mitt work acquires what I'm saying. Look, I'm gonna show you. The mitt work tells you is gonna show you what's going on in the world. It don't matter who getting mitt work. Look. I'm going to show you all something. It's better like this.
Yeah, we're about to show you. Oh my goodness. We're going to show it. My bad. I was pushing the wrong drum. That's that Bobby Schmurder. Listen, anybody getting work? We on vacation in Miami. I'm about to, I was supposed to be fighting, coaching a fighter, my homie. Everybody gets the same work. You're going to get the work. Where did see this? How you learn how to use your jab. Yeah, it's been a minute. It don't matter who you is. See, she, Mackenzie of Pisces, like my daughter. Hey, listen, blood. You think it's a game. <laughs> it don't matter who it is. You will be sharp as steel dealing with the kill. Latainment. That's a bar. I've had nothing but bars on here. Listen, man. Uh, March 20th, bro say. Need your training expertise. Love the consistency, fam. Shot your zeal, attacks free. Hey, listen, that is not why I do it, but I appreciate it. Shout out to my man, Soulmates, with the tax free Zeliante. Shout out to my man, Soulmates, with the tax free Zeliante. <laughs> That's called chicken, sir. <laughs> That's chicken out here. We we appreciate it. We appreciate all of it, sir. We definitely do. We appreciate it. Okay. Hey, uh, bro, say, bros, FaceTime sessions. What um, where are you at? Bro, say, where you at? But yeah, like, you got to really know what you like. I, I don't, I don't, I don't just do Lubach, Texas. Almost oh, definitely. You got to hit the, listen, for a FaceTime session, you really got to be hitting my Zell because then I'm going to have to be standing up and showing you how to execute. I got you, blood. Hit the Zell. We could work. I'll be charging, though. You're talking about training. Like, I'm going to... Listen, you see how this is set up. We could definitely get to work in. You no, know, I'm a boxing prophet. Um, it's very simple, bro. Like, I've trained somebody did, uh, virtually before. Like... 
it'd be mad simple. Because then I'll just be putting the camera like this, showing you the moves. You see what I'm saying? It's the GoPro. It don't move. It stay right here. We, and listen, we could do it on Zoom. My hourly rate going to run? It depends on what you do for a living. What's your job? What you do for a living? If I find out you lying, I'm on your ass. What you do for a living? How old are you? How old did you be is? You can email me too. The email. Oh, bro, it's all good. Hey, Morugan is good. Hey, Morugan, we got the new one now. We got the Zelle going because it's tax free. And you can write it off in your taxes, Morugan. Detroit King 111. We got the free Zelle now. The Cash App takes too much taxes. We hitting with the free Zeliante. You feel me? It's free. You can send it and then you can write it off on your taxes because this is considered boxing school. Oh, you 41? It's good, blood. Sure, you can shoot me like 40 or 50 or something like that. Like, it's good, bro. I ain't tripping. Like, we gonna get to work in. I appreciate you, bro. I was just saying for like, Anytime you wanted to hit it. I didn't say you had to hit it, blood, but I already know. Hey, listen, this is my man, Morugan. He really be hitting the Zell. He's a good man. And we'll stay on more time. You know why? Because he hit the Zeliante. He said, I'm the same one that was going to fight Devin Haney cousin on the boxing voice, Border Wars. Oh. But I don't remember that. That was a minute ago. But I still got you, bro. You can hit me with a 40 or 50 or something. I'll, try, I'll get on here and show you how to learn. I'll tell you what gloves to use and everything. How to get the mitt work in. Even not even doing mitt work. Just how to work the bag so that you can actually get better with certain things. And under teaching you the body mechanics of things. It's really understanding how to move your body when you're doing these moves. So that way you can do them properly. And then you could really get the slip and the shit that you need out of the, the movement. Oh, it's good, bro. Then I saw you. Nigga, you should have led with that. Well, my eye, bro, you think I got time for my eye to be looking like this, bro? And you talking about we talked on a grand for seven. Once you do all that, bro, then it's time for you to hit, hit me, bro. Hit me on a gram. DM me. We are definitely, we could work then. Should have led with that. Hey, blood, I talked to you on the ground for like seven hours one time. What's up with some online Jones for the 40 or something? Like, you just throw that out there. Hope people caught those gems on your last live about turning your punches over and using bad gloves. Hey, Marugan, you are on your, hey, Marugan is a garlic butter honoree. Number two. Because we had the garlic butter honoree. We got two garlic. Gar Marugan is definitely a garlic butter re representer. Because we already got a garlic butter honoree. We have a garlic butter representer. He represents and wears the garlic butter on his breath well. <laughs> he wears the garlic butter breath well. I'm telling you, bro. We're not here to play. Murugan is not here to play. Yes, I am. I hope they did catch that because it's really important when you land in your punches on how the bag gloves work, bruh. I was telling you about the Young Guns movie. Oh, yeah. Then we definitely was talking then. We was talking about trust talk. Most definitely. Because they be talking about trust to see. Once you say that, I automatically know what we was talking about. We was talking about American history. Billy the Kidron. 
doing what he want. Listen, the reason why the Young Guns is important because Mr. Tunsil was a private banker from um, London. And people was mad that he was taking in kids and helping them and doing this thing. And they wanted his land. And then some other bankers tried to come take his land unlawfully. And then they became, they deputized them, made them sheriffs. And then they rolled on them. They were supposed to bring them into court. And then that's why they revoked them. Or they deputized authority. And then they became fugitives. But then they start moving and staying on um, uh, private land. Uh, uh, Mexico, the native uh, Aztecs and the people back then. That's the story is real deep, bro, when you really watch Young Guns 1 and 2 and really watch it. It's not just about killing. They be having real court in the streets. They be really talking about some stuff on that movie, bro. And you know this is the end of the live and we always give real game. So it's like, no, bro, that, that's a good movie to watch and watch it for the things that they trying to teach you about protecting your land, property, and things like that. And then they called the federal army on them because they was causing too much havoc. Oh, yeah, Barry Sanders is my favorite running back of all time. That's who I used to be uh, trying to emulate like because he had cuts. He was quick from side to side. He had a spin move that was outrageous. But, yeah, no, um, hit my DM on the gram, bro, and then we could put something together. This week, we can definitely put it together and start work. We can start working. So once we put that together, it's all good, bro. You just let me know what you want to do. Because I'm, I'm about to get off because I need to eat something. And then, no, most definitely number 20 is the GOAT. I need to eat something. I'm going to uh, stay on till 445. You know what I'm saying? But. And y'all could just ask questions and do whatever y'all need. Ask some questions. You know what I mean? Get get these questions in. Get these questions in. I need to set up like a um a Skype for y'all to call for real. Y'all could really call my Skype, but I ain't got it on my phone no more. That's why I was telling y'all get get me on the Telegram. If you join a boxing group, you can call in to the Telegram at any time. I'm going to put the boxing group join in the chat. The link. If you join a boxing group. You join a boxing group, we can you can call in to the chat. Well, let me share the link. I'm going to share the link in the chat. Join a boxing group. You can call in real quick. It's public. It should be letting you join. Why is it not? It's, it's... We're going to try it again. This thing be acting crazy. Copy link. There we go. Hit the link, it's going to bring you into the boxing group. And then when you're in the boxing group, we be sharing information in there all the time. Ain't no disrespectful and nothing crazy in the chat. It's boxing. Sharing your videos, working out. I'll be got to give you some pointers in there too. And we could be talking. I got to be showing some stuff in there. I'll just be showing like little boxing footage of clips and little stuff. Showing you how to, you know, how to move around, how to get different work. That's what you want to be doing. For real. I had a couple folks in the chat. They be in here off and on, posting videos, posting little clips. Hold on, y'all missing out for real. Let me go to the chat. We active. Y'all the only ones missing out on, on more boxing knowledge. Talking in the chat. We be in, you can be talking. Look. Listen, my Negroes. I tried to get on that boxing voice and get some. I can't do it, bro. And, and this is the reason why. 
We 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 be in there having discussions. Hit the chat up. I'm telling you, it's gonna be lit. We working. So once you... We working. All right. Y'all ain't got no questions. Y'all ain't got nothing to say. Y'all be acting dry out here, dog. I had to get on this jaw and start talking. But I tell you one thing, when we get this boxing on this virtual, you're gonna be have to be in some type of gym or something, cause you're not gonna be telling me, um, I I didn't help you with the garlic butter, and I was the reason why you was getting garlic butter put on your lips. I'm not, I'm not gonna be, you're not gonna be doing that with me, bro. Pause. You're not gonna be shout out to Marugan again with the uh with the donation. It's much appreciated. Appreciate you. We working. We keeping these lives going. I really appreciate him looking at the live and bringing, bringing these bars in here. Bringing these bars in here. We gonna get some. We gonna grab a meal later. We got some food. We gonna right, cook me something to eat. I'm gonna throw me something together real quick. My IG is at Killertainment. Well, just send me your IG, bro. Send me your IG. I think I might have changed it. It might be you might have to look up at Cuerno de Chivo or at Killertainment with one L. How can I get in the chat? I put the link right there. Second Ezra. The link right here. I put the link right there. Hold on, let me put it again. This the link to get in the chat. We be in there talking, sharing little stuff. And then you could just call in for real. From the telegram, you'll be on the jaw, running your yappers. You'll be on there. That's the thing. I got telegram on my computer, too. Let me click on it. And then we can go live in the telegram. That's another one, too. You can go live in the Telegram, my geniuses. Like, no Capistrani. Like, you can literally be live in the Telegram. Yup. Got the John right here. Yeah, you can get live in this Telegram, for real. Then I'll hook it up to the speaker and we'll be listening through it through the speaker when you call in. The telegram be having bars on here. Yep, I can do a video chat on here on the telegram. We can all do a video chat. We can all be seeing each other chatting and talking about boxing, getting it turned. Like talking about boxing and, you know, getting our bars up. That's because the Telegram, you can put videos in and, and video chat. And you could be like, no, see, look, like, that's why Telegram lit like that. So you get in the chat, get in the Telegram. If you um, need some help, I'll see what to do to uh, make sure I can get it together so we can be all in there. But people be joining, though. I made it public because people were saying they couldn't get in there. So... That's the uh, link for it. So we can be in there yapping. We can be in there yapping. With gyms, y'all. Y'all got to be in them gyms. Y'all got to really get them diets together so y'all can get that work. Get you some bag gloves. Get you some nice gel wraps. 
we could start doing sessions. Like, we could do classes. My G, y'all could be in here. We'd be doing virtual classes. You just get in your room, and then we'll be going over to... Listen, I literally used to do this for the quarantine, bro. If y'all really trying to do it... All right, thanks for the DM, blood. And listen, if you was smart, bro, <laughs> bros... You would just join the chat too on the Telegram. So you would be in the chat too. And then you don't have to do the FaceTime. I could just de Telegram you. And it's video. And I could send you videos and stuff to watch and fights. That's why I got the Telegram boxing one on one chat. It's the link is right there. Look. And then another thing too. Everybody can be in the box in the Telegram chat. And we could do a class. I could just. It, Telegram is an app. Yes, it's a pretty tough too. And it's linked to your phone number. So like once you download it, you can see you'll see how it works. It's like Skype and other things and you can do um you can do vo video calls, voice calls, you know, stuff like that. So that's the link cuz I got a boxing group on one group and we be sharing videos in there and stuff and I was just showing it. But just the thing, we could start doing classes in there. And then and then y'all could just hit the Zelle for the class. And once I see what your email is, then we working. You know what I'm saying? It'll just be, you know, five, ten dollars or something. It's just a class, bro. We just will do an hour of boxing. You gotta think it's 10 people, 13 people in here. We could all be in the telegram. I can listen. We I tell y'all you gotta buy the egg weights. I got the egg weights. You put them on your thumb. You know what I'm saying? And then you be having it, or you can get some hand weights, and then we'll be in there working on our technique. And listen, it really gets you sharp. Cause that's what I used to do. And it's shadow boxing. We'll do an hour workout. We'll warm up. We shadow box six rounds with the gloves. And then we get on our calisthenics. Sit-ups, push-ups, all of that. We do all I did it for a whole year when during the quarantine, working for this gym called Hit Hit Fit SF. And um in San Francisco, I was doing classes like Tuesday and Thursday. So y'all, y'all gotta, y'all, if y'all want to do it, see, dude said he in, he want to get his class on. Just went on. It's all good. P appreciate you. I'm gonna make sure you in the group and everybody in the group. When we could do these classes, the more y'all get in there, the cheaper it'll be. You see what I'm saying? Because I, you can have so many people in, in the Telegram at once. You know what I mean? Like, And then y'all could just be watching me. You don't have to have your camera on. You do. And then we could just be working on the form. It's an hour class. You can't beat it. And you learn it from me. And you will be sharp. I'm telling you. You see it. Because I used to teach all for walks and forms. So, no, most definitely. Shout out to the 444. And on that note. We are finished, my friends.